Hey farmers, how, how's it going out there today? I thought I'd do a little tutorial on the vehicle control add-on mod or the steering something mod, I guess, whatever it was called. Uh, yeah, it's been changed a couple of names. Um, I thought I was just going to give a little bit of a tutorial on this, uh, on its functions and what to on each one mean because uh, since the last couple of updates of the last one has quite a few uh, updates so I'm just gonna go to yeah I'm just gonna pick up this uh, yeah this pickup truck right here uh, to let's show what it is here uh, as you can see in the lower right hand corner there's these uh, it says 96.1 degrees. That's part of it. And I do believe that the RPM and the temperature as well. It may not be, but I can't remember. But it's also, I also have the the vehicle enhanced mod as, as well. And that's the, it has a shuttle mode as well. Um, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we'll just get it right into it here. So, uh, so in order uh, to open up the the console of it, uh, you press Control C, left Control C, and it brings this up, and has the interior camera rotation, which means when you turn the wheel, it will look in that direction. Uh, the exterior camera rotation, it'll do the same thing, but in third person view. And the look backwards view is uh, when you put it into reverse, you'll look backwards. And same as when you're in third person view, it'll do the same. And the adaptive steering is that the faster you go, the smoother the steering will be. But this will only work with either on keyboard or on controller uh, it will not work very well if you have a steering wheel so if you have a steering wheel I will probably leave that off and the the peak sideways and I do believe that the peak sideways is when you press uh, shift and the arrow keys so you can just look either left or right And the sensitivity is the with the how strong you want the adaptive steering to be. And this part here with this 175 is the throttle limiter. Uh, that gives you, to me, I find it kind of like it gives you more torque. So the lower you go with on the on this number here, the more torque you get. So I usually, my personally myself, I leave it at like around 60. Seems to be work okay. Uh, low brake force, uh, aka rolling resistance. Okay, so how much rolling resistance you want? Okay, I usually just leave that at default at 15%. Uh, permanent keep speed. Uh, if permanent keep speed is enabled, then the acceleration pedal behaves like a joystick. Oh, okay, so you can kind of use a joy. Yeah, okay. I usually leave that off. And there's the hand throttle. The engine automatically accelerates to reach hand throttle RPM. Uh, for some reason, I'm not sure how to be able to get that to work. Like the way it usually does, but uh, sound pitch max that's just to do with the sound, so you'd have it at 100%. Uh, shuttle, uh, if you don't have the, the vehicle enhanced mod, you can turn this on, but since I have the vehicle enhanced mod, they conflict with each other. So, in order to have one or the other, you have to disable one. Uh, so, I have this one disabled. But if you have it on, you get this message. 
so you have to turn it off or you could have it uh, permanent turned off when you go into the vehicle control mod uh, in an XML file it'll have its own uh, folder in the mod settings under the under your my games farming simulator 19 and then there'll be mod settings and then vehicle control mod in there and then there'll be an XML file you can edit and there'll be a bunch of uh, true and false so which ones you want on or off permanently every time we need to go into the game so they don't come back on all the time in here and it's kind of like as a set per person and it works as uh, well when you're going to a, a multiplayer server so it sets for each person and then it, when one wants the shuttle on it'll turn it on and when you want it off and if another person wants it off it'll turn it off and there's different types of transmissions this one here I have is a 4x4 and there's you can have it off uh, the IVT is kind of like a CVT type transmission so it's constant so like it just like there's no gears to shift or anything uh, this one here you have like a low low gears low high low medium high gears and there's the power shift type uh, it's just a different variety uh, two by six I think yeah the two by six is uh, meant for semis and there's the full power shift and six gears with splitter which you could probably use that for the semi as well and six by four auto power shift uh, car with low range okay some of these I have not seen yet so and the axle speed max you can you can actually change the maximum speed of your vehicle and since I have an automatic I have it on manual yeah automatic shifting of gears and ranges so I have that off so I have it set up to so I just manually shift gears it kind of I find it that way easier because then you can gear right down low and you can be able to gives you more uh, more torque and that uh, more pulling power and speed limiter limits the maximum speed of the vehicle to its uh, default value uh, that I find very annoying so I always leave that off and there's the uh, launch gear uh, this will be you can set this to whatever which gear you want and it will remember it every time when you get back into the vehicle even when you leave the game and come back in and there's the auto clutch like if you have a uh, if you have a set of pedals that don't have a clutch this this will be handy uh, vehicles do still stall but not as <laughs> not as often as they did the last time when I tried to try this oh they would stall all the time I got annoying anyways but yeah if you like you want to have an auto clutch which is handy or you can have it uh, off if you want to use it yeah and the snap angle this is part of the uh, this version of the uh, uh, the, the GPS uh, part you can have it set to 90 degrees uh, actually I should probably go into the track to be able to do this because it's oops I thought I had it off oh, there we go there so I'll just get into the tractor here now yes yeah, in, in the tractor here I have the 4x4 power shift which that's the way I have it. and uh, four and uh, sixty. Okay, these are these are not supposed to be on. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter right now. Anyway, so you can set it to ninety degrees, and the distance is 
Actually, that should be the width. Like you can set the width of your. But the only thing is, it does not auto. It does not automatic detect your um, your equipment. So you have to kind of set it manually. It's kind of weird, but. kind of goes up in weird <laughs> weird numbers but uh, yeah 48 is the biggest because of the um, the largest sprayer uh, self propelled sprayer it's 48 meters yeah so it'll go by that well, we'll just leave it at that uh, draw a marker only only if active always so you can have them on all the time or you have them on off all the time this is only when active okay so we get on to the next part here uh, that's only when active okay now oops oh uh, my um, my game sound is a little a little quiet here. Okay, so you kind of be able to hear it. Okay, so since I got the the transmission in M1, so it'll start in that gear. Now you have to kind of be a little gentle with it. You just can't just stomp on it it'll just yeah because you can't make it stall easily whoops <laughs> yeah that's what the uh, the auto rotate when you when you look up um, actually in the you can actually manually look in different directions you can have uh, there's your peak left and right you can have it forward backwards yeah, that's by pressing the right shift and the arrow keys. Now, hook okay, it with the the GPS uh, markers, and to activate, just like in 17, 15 and 17, you press Control and W, and it brings up those lines. I'm not sure why it brings up the ones above, and it uh, just locks on. And you can see right, uh, I'm not sure you'll be able to see it, but just above where the M1 and 14 kilometers, it shows the degrees and the, what your, uh, how wide apart the, how wide your uh, equipment is. And to deactivate, uh, control W again. And to make the, if you don't like to have the, lines to, to 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 be there you just press uh, left alt and uh, w and they will disappear okay we're just gonna kind of give a little test to and oh and there's also other functions uh if you let's say you're wanting to mark with the uh, where you want the lines you want to have them towards the edge of the field. It's just like in uh, 15 and 17 uh, You just press the left control and the arrows and you can have it adjust this way and Here's another little uh, feature if you look over to this side or or either side you can actually Okay, for some reason they're not showing up Um maybe if I just drove up ahead a little bit here because there is supposed to be another set of lines whoops okay that's weird um, there should be another set of lines right beside me You see them right there? 
Oops. And that way you can adjust them. Have it set to to match a corner of a field. And a and you can do it that way. Okay, then I'll just uh And you just press Control W and it'll lock on. And then after a short while, the lines will disappear and they will be in your line of view, which is kind of nice. And then when you turn the steering wheel, you just do that. It's a little annoying. Sorry about that. And then to kind of, oop, and then there goes the the lines. So that kind of shows kind of a bit of a basic of what uh, this vehicle uh, control add-on kind of does, and kind of the basic of what each function does. Um, I think I kind of covered uh, of all the. <laughs> hope I covered everything. So, uh, well, if there's any uh, questions or or if there's any something anything that I've missed, uh, you can contact me if, by comment uh, by placing a comment down below, and I'll and uh, that's uh, pretty uh, pretty much it. Uh, so, I uh, appreciate you guys uh, watching. And uh, and I'll catch you guys uh, later. Take care.